We've been moored here near Anderson Boat Lift for a couple of days waiting on a package which arrived yesterday. Yep. So we picked that up and now we're ready to continue on. So today's plan is to get onto the Bridgewater and onto the Runcorn. Um, I keep going to say Rufford. Rufford. It's not the Rufford, it's the Runcorn. We're going onto the Runcorn Bridge. Yeah. That's the plan for today. There was recently a landslide on this canal which is still in the process of being cleaned up because it's quite an awkward spot. We're about to go through the first of three tunnels today. This one is Barnton Tunnel. And so we've got another two to do after this. I should put Pixel inside. Pixel, yeah. come on. frustrating tunnel I've ever done. I've never hated tunnels before, now I feel like I hate that tunnel. <laughs> that was mainly our fault though. When we pulled up, we didn't think to put all the lights on inside and open all the curtains so that we would have light on either side. We just had the front lights on, which makes it very difficult to tell where the sides of the tunnel are and makes going through way harder. And we scraped the sides a couple of times and that tunnel's not straight, it's very it's very bendy and rough. Random kinks in the tunnel that pop out. And, yeah. yeah, it was a horrible experience until halfway through when we turned all the lights on inside and we could see where we were going. Okay. So, top tip for doing tunnels. Turn, Turn all your, your lights, lights on. on. It's too early for this. <laughs> So just coming out of that tunnel, we are now coming up to the second tunnel that we're going through today, Saltersford Tunnel, and you can only go through it northbound um, on the hour until 20 past the hour. And it is 10 past 11 now, so we timed that perfectly without even trying. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're better prepared this time. All of our curtains are open, all of our lights are on. It should be a much better experience than the last tunnel. Yeah. We're silly. We're silly. <laughs> bendy than the previous one. Didn't hit the sides once because we were actually prepared and had all our lights on.
We are just going through the stop block just before Preston Brook Tunnel, which is the last tunnel that we need to go through today. And it's a bit of a longer tunnel than the last two. And we've arrived here just on time again. It's 12.57 and we're allowed to go into the tunnel on the hour until 10 minutes past the hour. So we have timed this perfectly. on the rug corn arm. This is the first time we've been on this arm. It's not a very long one, it's only about, what was it, four and a half, five miles to the yeah, end? about four and a half, five miles. Yeah, so we're going to head up to the end of the rug corn arm, stay there overnight. Uh, I think we're actually gonna stay two nights because we're going to try and get a Tesco delivery because we need some food. <laughs> and then we'll turn around to head back to the Bridgewater and continue north along the Bridgewater Canal. Yeah. That's the plan. There are quite a few <laughs> There are quite a few wide beams on this arm and we've just gotten onto it and I've already, we've already seen about 10 of them yeah which I wasn't really expecting various degrees of width too yeah yeah some not quite full wide beams um, some. yeah but yeah it's, it's it's always for those of us who tend to cruise on the narrow canals it's always really odd to see a wide beam narrowboat <laughs> <Branch. Okay. laughs> Yes, it is always quite odd to see a wide beam narrowboat when you've been on narrow yeah. canals. To us, they seem like luxury barges. <laughs> yeah, they're just so, so much big. room. Yeah, yeah. Big.
the end of the Runcorn. We're just turned around and we're going to go up to where there's a bit of mooring. It's a nice interesting bridge they've got there. Apparently there used to be locks through there. Yeah. It's fluffy here. Fluffy. Fluffy. It's a fluff. We're now moored up just on the end of the Runcorn arm and uh, I have a confession to make. As we were making our way through that first tunnel today, we didn't turn our lights on in the boat and open the curtains so we couldn't see the sides very well, which was our mistake. But because of that, uh, there was some scraping along the sides and I realized as we came out, Ryan noticed that I've damaged the river lights. It wasn't too bad, considering that we were going straight past a Midland Chandler's. Yes. We were almost going... immediately after the tunnels. <laughs> and these lights were already quite old and damaged to begin with. Yes, the one on the other side is the green one. And it's so, some, some, before we had the boat, the green glass has probably smashed or fallen out or something's happened to it. So they decided to paint a bit of plastic green and put it in and there. put it in there which means you don't see actually any no. light coming out of it it doesn't work at no. all because we thought that light was broken when we first bought the boat because yeah wouldn't, yeah you couldn't see anything when you got the guy to have a look at it he took it off and goes no it's fine it's working so we had to replace that one anyway yes we had to replace the glass on it at some point before we go on a river and <sighs> it looks like we can't really buy the glass separately and I, no. I think we might be able to get it from Amazon or something. Maybe, but we got to, We just decided we'll replace the whole thing anyway because especially the one that I've just destroyed yeah. needs to be fully replaced. So, <laughs> yeah, cool. so we've got some replacements for that. But a nice shiny new one. Perfect. I'm hoping we can just leave. Yeah, the thing that's fixed the side of the boat still in that place. bit there because I'm not quite sure how it's been fixed on all right let's just remove that first it'll be easier just to take this whole bit off there's a big spider just there it's kind of freaking me out <laughs> do you want me to do it then no it's okay I broke it I'll fix it <laughs> I want to fix it no, it's just quite fun. I want to fix it. <laughs> you broke it on purpose, didn't you? I did <laughs> break it on purpose. Okay. This one, I've kind of scraped the... Uh, the thread off. <laughs> the th not the thread, the... The, uh, the groove that the screwdriver maybe goes into. Um, maybe get a pair of tweezers. Uh, tweezers? Pliers? Pliers. Yeah, but I don't like that. I really, uh, really did a number on that. Yeah. Yay, finally. <laughs> Make sure it's going on the correct way. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's got a face out Forward. that way, so. I reckon that's going to be perfect. Have you got the Yeah, that's why the camera someone stood in trying to get it out. <laughs> Screwdriver? <laughs> that's right. I got that too. I got everything. Just all, try all not to drop this in the canal like I dropped the other one down the side of the bed. Oh yeah. Well, it's still on the boat. We haven't lost yeah, it. We know where it is. It's just inaccessible. Yeah. Do you want to do the other one too? So shiny. Yeah. Um, I think maybe just leave the other one until we're on like the towpath side for that yeah, side. Yeah, so it's just going to be really difficult to try and put this on while hanging off the side of the boat. <laughs> All right, cool. I'd say this is an improvement overall. Because the old one was looking really old and tired and it looked it like it been... probably just needed a polish, but... Oh, well, you can it's... see like some of the... Yeah, it would need a really good polish. And this is glass. The new one's just plastic. Yeah. So... 
Yep. You, should, you should dart back to the boat with some of the tools and turn it on. Yeah, sure, okay. Did you turn it on? Not pressing the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Works so much better when you flick the right switch. It does work better when you flick the right switch. <laughs> Nice, nice work. Actually, it looks nicer, doesn't it? It looks shinier. <laughs> cool. It was due to be done replacements and stuff. We I just thought we would only have to replace the opposite side. But yeah, we thought we would only have to replace that one. But thanks, Maggie. <laughs>